Yo, what's cooking? Good looking. City Soul Entertainment TV, and today I'm back with just kind of like a little bit of a giveaway update video slash addressing a couple of concerns slash answering some of your questions slash showing my appreciation slash a bunch of other bullshit. Um, we'll start with the uh, the giveaway. A lot of people have had concerns, you know, messaging me on Discord or on Dead Frontier, like, is the giveaway over? Uh, you know, do can I still enter? When are you going to do the giveaway? The giveaway is not over. I have not given out any of the items, clearly, as you can see. I did not buy the exact same items just to replace the items I already give away. Uh, <laughs> I have not given away any of the items. We have not started compiling a list yet, me and Calamity. Me, Calamity, Justice. Me, Calamity, Justice, and my dog over here, which I don't have. I'm pointing to nothing, actually. I'm pointing to my uh, shit that is on the ground here. I don't have a dog currently. I want to get one because they're cute. But, regardless, um, we haven't started compiling a list. And the way that the giveaway will work, the 12th, Sunday, I am going to be doing a live stream. It's going to be a pretty late live stream because I might be working all day. Um, but once we compile the list and the 12th comes around, Easter Sunday, I will be giving out the items in a live stream, late live stream. Even if you cannot make it to the live stream and you were a winner, that does not mean you are uh, exempt from winning your prize. You will still get your item if you do not make it to the live stream. Uh, that's when I will be giving everything away and depends on, you know, how long that might take, how many questions I might have to answer during that live stream. Uh, you know, we might go grinding or, or, or doing a little bit of looting or some shit like that uh, after I give away all those items in that live stream. Uh, second thing I wanted to address is the Easter event slash Easter weapons, Easter items. Somebody asked me in my Discord, they asked me how I felt about the Easter event. I told them I would be making a video to explain how I felt about the Easter event. And this is that fucking video. Sort of. <laughs> um, Easter event, pretty cool. Um, it was a little underwhelming, I'm going to be honest. The weapons, I'll get to them. I'm just talking about the event at this point. The 200% XP and whatnot. I'm not talking about the weapons or the mask or anything. I'm just talking about the event itself. And it was pretty underwhelming. If I'm going to be honest, I really expected them to kind of switch things up this year a little bit uh you know for the past couple of years or so i can't remember exactly when this whole thing started but they've been kind of doing the same events for christmas and easter and halloween and thanksgiving you know the 200 percent weapon armor loots you know the exp boosts uh there was no speed no damage which i mean i guess having 200 percent speed or 200 percent damage boost would be fucking insane but you know there was nothing like that um so it was kind of you know just kind of expected so um that's how i felt about that expected <laughs> um as far as the bunny dogs and i haven't i don't know if there's another uh enemy i haven't seen them yet but i think they're pretty cool uh experience is pretty good on them health about 10,000 20,000 experience for the 10,000 health they're rather fast, not super fast, and um, they are very small, very tiny little fucking things, uh, but super cool. Very, very tiny. Very tiny. Um, they're super cool. I like them. Um, now, the weapons. This is, what, uh, this is what a lot of people wanted me to address. The weapons and the cosmetics. The cosmetics are fucking dope. I'm not even gonna lie, I like the cosmetics, especially the bunny mask. I don't know how much I feel, uh, like, what I feel about with the egghead. But the bunny mask, that thing looks fucking cool. Um, and in terms of the guns, I'm a little upset that from what I heard, this might not be the truth, so don't quote me on it, they were nerfed 25% um, from yesterday, because I had, I was doing as well as a lot of people I know, we were kind of trying to figure out data mining and then just doing a bunch of shit to figure out how much damage they were going to do. We came up with a number. The number turned out to be somewhat correct, and then they were nerfed by 25%. 
uh, to do that. So, I mean, the chainsaw was supposed to do about 403 damage, some shit like that, for a critical hit, which is disgusting. Um, but being nerfed by 25%, it'll do like, like what, like um, 330, 340, somewhere around there. Uh, which is still pretty gnarly for a chainsaw. Um, and the hair reserve reserve whatever the fuck it's called um i probably just had a stroke i should probably go get that checked out but i can't go to the doctor because i'm white no <laughs> because of covid19 i cannot go to the doctor um it's pretty cool it was a really it was a super nasty fucking gun when they had it at it was supposed to be like 400 damage just like the chainsaw critical wise theoretical wise um and then they obviously they nerfed it by 25 percent. so it is still a pretty good fucking mg uh nine millimeter rifle ammo 450 round capacity it's just an x dusk mag it's just an x dusk mag it's an fm matral that has been reskinned and is now an x dusk mag which i guess is pretty fucking cool um if you can afford the 9mm to supply that fucking thing, it's pretty good. You know, especially if you're not level 325 or because it's an impossibility nowadays, you can't get number one in uh, top survivor. Because I don't care what anybody fucking has to say, it's an impossibility to get that fucking, to get top one nowadays. Uh, you know, obviously the person who's in League of Eggplants right now, Elk, or whoever the fuck is at top one right now, would be like, no, it's not impossible, I get it all the time. I, I sit at home all day and I, I grind out 7 billion experience. And I'm not mad. I'm not. I just think that they really should, sh they should switch that up because people like me, I don't even want the extra shot, fuck it. But people like me, I work 60, 70 hours a week. And I'm never, I'm not even in contention for first place or 10th place because everybody's stuck at home right now. They grind out 7 billion fucking experience a day. Cool. Whatever. Um, you know, so if you can't get the X Dusk, I would work on getting this fucking hair. Uh, so that's how I feel about that weapon. Kind of got into a little bit of a, <laughs> a top survivor fucking rant. Um, what else? What else? What else? Oh, the Discord. Please do not come into my fan Discord. I posted my fan Discord in the giveaway video. Please do not come into my fan Discord and beg for items. That is the quickest way for you to get banned or muted. Um, I just had a situation with that. We resolved it. It's all good, but please don't come in begging for items. That clan discord is for people who have questions about me or anybody that I uh, associate myself with and questions about the game. Uh, we have a couple of high-level players who uh, teach players how to do stats and, and all that stuff. So it's not for begging. And anybody who has begged for stuff is not exempt from the giveaway it just makes it a lot harder for us to want to give to you when all you do is go to other people and beg them for stuff so just chill just wait you could potentially be a winner just please don't come into my discord and start begging i don't want to have to ban anybody unless it's absolutely necessary um i will be releasing easter content so <laughs> Stay tuned for that. I don't know if I said it in this video, so I'll make it really quick um, because I've had to record this video three times now because I don't know how to speak. Um, I will not be doing a huge Easter egg opening giveaway. I know I did one for Christmas. I'm not going to be doing one for Easter and probably not going to be doing one for Halloween, Thanksgiving, or Christmas this year. Um, just because it's too repetitive, I tried to make that Christmas gift opening as entertaining as possible with the whole character and the phone calls and all that shit. 
but it's just way back in the day when you would get an elite Easter egg or East or elite Christmas gift or even just regular Christmas gifts in general, you had the chance of finding like an iron sight or a GAU from like elite Christmas gifts, stuff like that. You cannot find those in these Easter eggs. So you kind of just get the same shit over and over again, which is great because I mean, you have, you know, that allows you to get the materials you need to make the masks or the guns. Um, I just, I, if there's, if there's not enough just content stuffed within those eggs in order for me to make a super huge video on it, I'll probably do maybe like a 35, maybe a 40 egg opening, um, but it's not going to be anything huge, and I'm definitely not going to wrap like a fucking serrated condom over my face uh, <laughs> to open those eggs, so... I will be dropping Easter uh, hunting video, boss hunting videos, as well as a small Easter egg opening video, and then I will be posting content on the HMG that they released, the hair, and the chainsaw, um, which by the way, the chainsaw is the uh, item that you buy from the credit shop for a thousand credits, as well as this bunny head, this bunny head's pretty fucking sick. The hair splitter, I can say that one. The hair was, was... I didn't really pay attention to the name too much. I just kind of was like, ah, fuck it, HMG. So, uh, that's that's how that works. So, I addressed the beggars. I addressed the beggars. I also addressed the beggar. No, the beggars, the weapons, the giveaway... The Easter egg opening video. That fucking hurt my finger. God damn. Um, is there anything else that somebody, that people wanted me to address? I don't think there is. So as far as I am concerned. Oh, I addressed the event as well. As far as I am concerned, this is the end of the fucking video. So, um, I wish you guys all the luck in your endeavors to get the HMG the hair splitter, whatever you might want to get. Um, you know, I wish you luck in the boss hunting as well as just leveling up and, and enjoying this event. Um, real quick, I want to just give my appreciation to those of you who <laughs> subscribe to the channel. Even if it was just for the giveaway, I hope a lot of you stick around. I love to post that Frontier content. I like to make people smile and kind of give them... An escape from this whole COVID-19 fucking thing. Because I know a lot of you are stuck at home. And a lot of you are like, oh, I've played the game for so long. Of course I want to watch this idiot fucking play his game. You know, I'm tired of playing it. I'm going to watch somebody else play it. Um, you know, if I can give you some kind of escape. I will be posting longer content videos. Um, most of them will most likely be sped up. I'm going to try to record a couple that aren't sped up. Um, just kind of me and my boys talking about random things. Uh, just because I know it's a bitch to be stuck inside the house constantly. So if I can pump out like, you know, two hour videos, at least it might give y'all something to watch. Um, something different than what you are used to doing on your account. Uh, I might have different guns, be in different areas, being, you know, doing different things. Um, so I really appreciate all the love, all the likes, the comments, the subs, Again, I hope a lot of you stick around because I like to do giveaways often, and um, I live. I try to live stream every Saturday unless I work open to close at my job. So, and I like to do small giveaways at the uh, at the live streams. So again, thank you for all of the support. Um, it has been absolutely fucking insane. It hit me like a ton of fucking bricks, but in a good way. Sexy bricks, all you sexy motherfuckers out there. A bunch of ton of sexy bricks just laid out, sprawled across my body, before this turns into a fucking Fifty Shades of Grey magazine, uh, I'm going to end the video. <laughs> With all that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, the like button, subscribe button, share button, definitely leave a comment, positive negative, doesn't bother me. I just want to see some feedback. If you enjoyed that much and you want to miss anything I'm going to upload in the future, including giveaways, live streams, or anything at all, be sure to definitely go down and turn on post notifications so we can notify every time I upload a video because you're not going to miss what is next. Again, thank you for the support, and thank you so much for watching.